Our pastor's wife used to volunteer here every week and she used to talk about how amazing it was and we didn't live in the area close enough for me to check it out at that time and she just continued to say how amazing it was that God could do great things here in such a small community and um, so eventually when we moved to this area and um, I have family in this area and I was introduced to World Missionary Press and we used their materials on a missions trip uh, to South Dakota to the Rosebud Indian Reservation and the rest was history. I just fell in love with the ministry and all that was happening here. So, Well, I help to open and receive the mail that comes and we process all the donations in the finance office. And I get to talk to people on the phone. Sometimes they call with questions or to make a donation. So I do answer uh, the phone for the finance department. And I get to be blessed with seeing that end of what God is doing for this ministry. So. I would say the mission of World Missionary Press is to win lost souls for Christ, continue to bring them in to the kingdom and to bring Christ to them and healing and hope that only He can give. We are able to print um, the Word in over 337 languages and we reach more than 210 nations and countries around the world and we are able to print God's Word free and ship it out for free to many different places and people that would otherwise never get to hear the Word of the Lord and just we have coordinators that in different countries that are able to receive the shipments that we send out we get to see shipments go out we pray over every shipment before it goes and um, we're just really really blessed to be able to have the Word accessible for so many and so many willing people. It's just been amazing to see that. World Missionary Press is able to help with discipleship and, um, by giving them something tangible, something that they can hold on to and take with them. In a lot of the countries that we get to send the word to, they don't have belongings or paper possessions or books. And so this gives them God's word and it becomes a prized possession to them. They're able to have it and to learn it and to grow in it and they're able to share it. And it's something then that they can continue to remember and it definitely speaks to them because it's in their own language. And so when they get to hear it in their own tongue, I think it speaks a little bit greater to them that God is where they are. There are several things that you can do to be involved with World Missionary Press. One would be in volunteering your time, being able to come and work right out in the production area with boxing up booklets that are produced, working at the bindery. We do have a New Testament bindery, being able to help uh, to put all of those together as well. And even giving, giving if you're not able to go or to take God's word, but to be able to give so that someone else can take God's word. We can take your donations. They are um, considered confidential. So whatever donations come in, we do treat that very carefully. and. We are able to receive donations both by credit card and you can either call us or you can go online to uh, worldmissionarypress.org and be able to make donations online through the website there too. So a lot of good ways to be a part. Um, prayer support here at World Missionary Press is vital. Um, we desire greatly for people to continue to pray for us. It allows us to continue uh, to stay focused. I think people, other people's prayer definitely helps. And um, we do pray over every shipment before it leaves. We have a chapel time here every day and we have time in prayer during chapel, but we also a couple times a month meet for what's called our hour of power. And we're able to pray for some of the needs in different areas of this ministry. And prayer is vital. It's really at the heart of what we do because it's amazing to be a part of what God's doing <laughs> you know you want to be where God is it's not always expecting him to be where you are or doing what you're doing but to be where God is and to be here and you can feel his presence here and being a part of what he is doing is is amazing to me I get to come every day to a place where I get to see God's hand move and I get to see him do things even when you know, you think there is a mountain there. We get to believe him for the impossible. 
and um, I'm privileged to be able to be a part of what he is doing here and to see firsthand the things that he's doing and how he's bringing so many different things about. So We had seen a video, Believing God for the Impossible, and um, we chose to stand and believe that God could do the impossible for us and we wanted to increase our production to 9 million booklets a month. And so we chose to believe and just a few days later in the finance office I received a phone call from someone and um, her brother had passed away and extended my condolences and she actually was pretty funny and she said, oh, don't be sorry. She said, we know where he is and he has left World Missionary Press a lot of money and he had left us enough to be able to increase our production um, for 10 months to 9 million booklets from about five and a half, between five and a half and seven million booklets all the way up to nine million booklets a month. So that was amazing. You get to stand and believe that God's gonna do something amazing and you see his hand do that. We were going to need extra room to be able to house these things and the building next door went up for sale and we wanted to believe that at least 80% would come in um, if God wanted us to get the building and in a short time more than 80% actually within just a couple months we had enough to be able to purchase the building and um, so he's brought in the money for the upgrades there have been other needs and being in the finance office I get to see the money come in for the things that are needed and so it's really amazing to be able to see how God can do that and he had a plan before we even knew, before we even asked, before we even chose to stand and believe God for the impossible. He was already making things happen. And so as we saw his hand move, you knew it was from him and not because of man's will. So.